and the Enterprise encounters the swarm once they're in the nebula, and man, it's they get destroyed. Oh, creepy sound too. It's like bugs. It's like they're hitting ph phasers. No full, full speed, full blast, full blast. Deflector dish now. Super good for the <laughs> So that's a that's a dominant victory for the swarms. I mean, you're taking on like Not the flagship close. of the of Starfleet, and you just dominated the fight. And and the Enterprise is shooting shooting full blasts, shooting right. phasers, and and they're get, they're making hits. It's not like they're missing. Yeah. It's just you can't take out one or two ships at a time and then do any type of substantial damage to these. Yeah, no chance. Yeah, and what if there's thousands of these swarm ships and you're hit you're hitting onesie twosie here and there? Like it's just not gonna have a big effect on the swarm. I think the so, right move was for Kirk to just get out of there, leave, run. Right. Right. So if I remember, Spock says, so Kirk is like, she's like, shields up. Like, what, what is going yeah. on? Shields up, red yeah. alert. And yeah. then Spock's like, we are not equipped to handle this. And then, and but Kirk, Kirk should know. Kirk should know the capabilities of his sh of his ship and, and what they're not capable of. And so he should right. immediately be like, Sulu, get us out of here. That's right. If you don't know the capabilities of the swarm, but you know you can't take them out quickly. Right. And, and you're second in command is like hey we're not ready for this you got to run yep. you can't hang around right i mean heck i don't know if this is kosher but sulu maybe even is like i'm overriding this i'm getting us out of here oof but that's breaking the chain of command but but i, I gosh he might have the authority to do that i mean that's the reason why you have a helmsman is because they're not an autonomous robot that's right who's like i will do what i say at all times like he sees the he sees the situation and he's like, "I'm out." Got to get and us then, out here. Yeah. If Kirk later on is like, "That was the worst move. Like you shouldn't have done that." He's like, "Well, this is my reasoning at the time, and we and, are alive, <laughs> and we are alive. We can go back in." But that was my call. Right. That's right. It was it was a breakdown of the command on the bridge. I mean, effectively, Kirk froze because mm -hmm. people were giving him information, but Kirk mm -hmm. was. Not, not issuing commands <laughs> That's like, right. like that. I guess we're saying we don't know what Sulu is allowed to do and not to do. Mm -hmm. But if he is allowed to make that decision, he also froze. Right. But we, we don't actually know, though. I don't know. So. I don't know what their, their rules are for what the helmsman yeah. can override. But yeah, so bad decision or non-decision, freezing in place, and then total domination. Completely. This would. This is just. This is the third movie in the Kelvin timeline, and each time Starfleet has a enormous fear moment, where it's like we need to make serious adjustments to to Starfleet because we got third dominated. Time that they encountered an enemy that they, where they they got completely destroyed, completely dominated mm -hmm. by this enemy, and so on one hand, I mean, on one hand, that's good because when you encounter weak points, then you know to fix them. So hopefully Star Trek, uh, Star Fleet learns from this. Yeah, hopefully. Right, because they're going to have to do a serious yeah. debrief and be like, we need to rethink our weapons and our ship design and kind of everything. Again. Yep. <laughs> yep, yeah. 